A guy buys a private island and turns it into a techie playground. Now, lawsuits are flying back and forth. This secluded spot, now known for its kite surfing and other sports, is in the Sassoon Bay area. KPI X5's Don Ford reports on this legal drama. When John Sweeney bought this small Delta Island, it was in pretty bad shape. The levees were breached in several places, allowing water to cover at least part of it. As the new owner, he says by law, the Sassoon Marsh Preservation Act now makes that his problem. When you buy the property, you have a compliance period where you must fix the property to make sure the levees are watertight and all your flood structures and floodgates work. And you did that? Yeah, we complied exactly with the plan. Now the San Francisco Regional Water Quality Control Board is proposing a $4.6 million fine for repairing those same levees. They say the old levees were left open too long and now most of the island is their jurisdiction. And that means permits. When it was purchased, it was the tidal wetlands. On private property, when federal and state waters are present, one needs authorization to conduct activities in those waters. While the permit requirements for maintenance and repair is being disputed, all levy work is stopped. Mandated to put them in and mandated to take them out. How's that, how's that work? Oh, that's the question for the Solana Superior Court. Yep, everyone is eventually headed to court. Today, Sweeney filed suit against the Bay Conservation and Development Commission, who he claims is joining the Water Quality Board. Meanwhile, in addition to his three pet goats, he's operating an exclusive kite surfing club for executives, complete with shipping container lounge, fake grass carpet to stay out of the dirt, and composting toilets in surplus trailers, all for clients who may arrive by helicopter on his private island to enjoy what he says is some of the finest kite surfing in the state. This whole confusing matter now goes before a Superior Court judge in August, who hopefully will determine just whose rules should be applied. On Point Buckler Island, Don Ford, KPIX5.